Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to show the way to get the perfect clear on 15-7 Elite Mode, Stone Street. So, I already beat it with no one on my teammates killed and the Pro Shafina within three turns. I simply forgot to grab the treasure. Uh, it, it's not even difficult, it was just I forgot about it. So I'm just gonna grab it now <laughs> in a quick playthrough. Alright, so my party will be led in with Righteous, with Righteous Duel and Vindication, his faction buff. Tiaris with Attack Blessing Heal, Mass Heal, Luna with her Wind God Realm and Faction Buff and Move Again, Liana will bring Gospel, Act Again and Summon Sky Archer, very very optional there, and finally Leon has Legion, Chivalry and Assault, so let's just get started. And turn on Dinger Zone. And skip this. And skip that too. And skip that again. And skip some more. And skip. Jeez. Come on. So much chatter. Unbelievable. And you have to skip every part of it too. In any case though, it's done. So I want to maximize my party's movement. So I'm going to have Luna just win God Realm to start. Shift one tile further down and faction buff. So that should allow for maximum movement of my party. So why don't I have Leon just run down? Uh, actually, let's have Leaden run down first. Then Leon. Then Tiaris. And finally, Vienna. And I'm not going to bother dropping the summon just yet. There we go. So, they start approaching. Shafiniel will get attacked by this Hellhound, but she's not going to die to one attack. Alright. So, so what I can do is have Leon charge self, trigger, I'm wondering if it's even worth it. You know what? Let's not. Let's just have Leon assault the succubus and kill it. To start things off. Make him move back. So, so yes. Leden can come down and just righteous duel. The Hellhound to him. More to just trigger the righteous duel buff than anything else. Luna's getting moved last, right? I want everyone else to approach first. So I can maybe just run Liana down. I don't know. Gospel, I guess. Doesn't matter. Let's move Tiaris down, and I might as well mass heal. And finally, Luna will run down and place herself next to Shafaniel, triggering that effect where they join. And I'm just going to have... I mean, I can have Shafaniel attack, but if I do, this guy gets to attack me. So I better just wait a turn like this, and maybe... I don't even have to tank that hit, frankly. Whatever. It's not a big deal if I do. So, Succubus fireballs my lead in, does some damage to him, but doesn't kill him, of course. And the battle continues. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just have Leon attack and kill this Orc Berserker and come right back up. Next! I mean, why don't I have Leaden attack at Succubus? Since he's holy class, he easily crushes it. Uh, Shafiniel can wipe out one of these guys. Maybe from here. Going to have Luna run forward 
And why don't I have her attack blessing? Sorry, am I gonna have Tieris run forward? Attack blessing Luna. And that way Luna can attack and kill off this Orc Berserker. Not really necessary per se, but you know. If I can do it, why not? I'm just gonna start sending Serena south, north, to deal with those guys there. And that should be it. So Redden is going to tank hits and crush these attackers for me. It's interesting that they're totally locked onto Shafaniel. Like, there's other characters around, but they still target Shafaniel. Go figure. And some more enemies spawn. So why don't I just crush this guy for now, the Hellhound, and come back. These guys have a displacement smash, so I can just... Hmm... Why don't I just have Liana? Tell it heal these two. Uh, Jafinio, cleanse attack Lava Titan, which doesn't do enough to kill it, but that's okay. Yes, Luna can. Yes. Then let in. We can need to guard everyone here. Tiaris can just heal up. Shafinio. And Unbreakable Guardian for Suri. So Lenin tanks another hit. This time from a gargoyle. Down it goes. Now I just have a few more enemies to kill. So why don't I start with Leon using chivalry here? And I'm just gonna do a regular strike. I'll assault mix for the second attack. For now, I can shield bash this slime here. Liana can choose to act again, Leon, to finish off. Bruno. So down he goes with the assault skill. Bruno is killed just like that. And Leon heads towards the treasure now. In the meantime, these guys will start moving north. So buff. I still have Divine Guard up, or Almighty Guard, as it's called right now. So maybe I'm just going to heal up Leden. Have Luna activate Fashion Buff. And Shafinio can start moving back up. So this guy will get killed by my Leaden. Just three enemies left at this point. It's just mopping them up at this point. Leon runs for the treasure. Luna is going to attack the first slime, but before I do so, I'm not, no. just gonna have Shafinio cleanse the first slime. Yeah. 
Luna can maneuver forward to be ready to deal with the second slide. Serena can wipe out this slime. And all that's left is this one slime here. I'm just gonna attack Blessing. Luna. So if you need more time to get rid of... to get, grab the treasure, right? You can wait. You don't have to kill the, this last slime right away. In my case, Leon just grabs it right now. And the treasure is... an epic martial spirit. Okay. Must grab! <laughs> And now that just means Luna is going to win God Realm. And with Attack Blessing, one shot this final slide. Ending the fight. And then there we go. So nobody died, right? Um, this definitely gets you all defeats. Although I've already gotten them in the past. And there we are. So, taking a quick peek, defeats where no one on the team was killed, which was the case, and I approached Shafania right on turn two. So you would have gotten both feats there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video useful to you. Nitro out.